While the professional sports world is still in a break here in the state, to cross Oof. the land or the break. pond, rather, uh, Scotland, the first round of the Open got underway today, and that's where we begin. We find our next guest, ESPN senior writer Michael Collins. Thank you so much for joining us here on Sports Nation. This is the first time that Tiger has been at the Open since 2015. Uh, apparently, there was some issue. He had some some tape on his neck, and people started to panic, from my understanding, and you told them to relax. So talk to me about how Tiger has been doing so far. Well, yeah, that's exactly what happened. Karen, when Tiger showed up on the driving range and he had two pieces of tape with KT on each of them on the back of his neck. And believe me when I tell you, there was a little bit of panic setting in over in the media center and social media exploded. Because, you know, you're talking about a guy who has had injuries in the past and he shows up with a little bit of tape. So people were worried. But then he got out onto the golf course and looked like a little bit like Tiger of old. <laughs> he got it to 200 at one point and looked really nice on the golf course, but brought it back just a little bit, made a couple of mistakes coming in, ended the day at even par, which still for Tiger is really good. Are you over the Tiger watch at all? Like, because we, we stay on it. I think we're still hoping something will change. You know, the hardest thing about Tiger Woods is trying to explain to people that just because the dude puts the Superman suit on, he's not going to be flying into burning buildings, saving babies. <laughs> That's not who this dude is anymore. So the guy from 2000 is not coming back. And everyone keeps going, yeah, but he shows flashes. You know what? I can show flashes of being skinny, but I'm never going to be skinny again. So just let it go. Just let it go. <laughs> Michael, you and I have had this debate nonstop on the radio show in terms of Tiger being back, Tiger being back. And my big thing is you're not back until you actually win something. There are guys on tour right now who are winning. What is your assessment of round one outside of Tiger? Outside of Tiger Woods, the thing that surprised me about this first round was the wave. And it is in the morning, that's when all the scoring happened. Because late in the afternoon, well, not late, about 1, 1 in the afternoon, it started getting a little windy. The sun stayed out there, but because the wind picked up, scoring just dropped off. When I left the media center to come out and talk to you guys, there were 32 guys total under par. That's of 156 guys, and Carnoustie didn't even have bad weather. You can probably see there's still blue in the sky. So here's my thought. I was going to ask you a quick question. Um, do you know if you can join us every day as our co-host? Because you're just so funny, and I really would like you to don't, join us. Don't pump his No, head. okay, never mind. Uh, Michael <laughs> Collins, thank you so much. I we would have... love to join you every day. I would love to. I want to just throw them under the bus talking about when GMs want smart players. What? How long would a GM last if he was like, I only want dumb players on my NBA team? <laughs> and if Boogie Cousins... If Boogie Cousins calls you up and uh -huh. goes, hey, can I come play for y'all? Uh -huh. Who's going to be like, yeah, nah, <laughs> even if we get you at a discount, we don't really. Uh -huh. Who's going to say no? Now, Boogie's the one dude without a ring. He's the hungriest guy on Golden State. <laughs> come on, man. This is any y'all call me. I'm uh, in. We got you. Michael <laughs> Collins with golf and basketball. We appreciate you. Enjoy your time over there.